opinion this morning from New York Times columnist Charles Blow. 100 years ago this week, the New York world began to publish a 21-part explosive expose on the inner workings of the Ku Klux Klan. It was a sensation. As the Columbia Journalism Review has put it, the series drew two million readers nationwide. New Yorkers stood in line for copies, and the Justice Department and several congressmen promised to investigate the group. The world would win the Pulitzer Prize for Public Service, the most coveted of the awards for its efforts. But some believed giving the Klan this much exposure was a terrible idea. As Felix Harcourt, author of Ku Klux Culture, told The Guardian in 2018, some in the black press think that the best thing to do is to deny the Klan any publicity whatsoever, what was referred to at the time as dignified silence. Sure enough, the series did not have the effect that one might have thought. It did not cow or shrink the Klan. To the contrary, the Klan's membership exploded. Just four years later, 30,000 Klan members marched down Pennsylvania Avenue in D.C. in what the Washington Post called, at the time, one of the greatest demonstrations this city has ever known. This all remains a cautionary tale about exposure and evil in the world of journalism. In 1913, soon-to-be-nominated Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis wrote in Harper's Weekly, under the headline, What Publicity Can Do, that sunlight is said to be the best of disinfectants. But in journalism, this idiom is more complicated. Sometimes the infected court the infection. Sometimes the light you shine on evil also illuminates the path to it. Sometimes publicity is advertising. Consider how this continues to manifest today, whether through election denial, QAnon conspiracies, or vaccine resistance. Sometimes people are drawn to what we believe fact and logic would repel them from. Sometimes when we expose evil, we create or amplify an allure of it. Sometimes people willfully plunge into and are consumed by the very flame that provides the light. <laughs>